2022 has been a horrible nine months for investors in stocks and bonds globally. Stocks have now almost round trip two years of gains, which while common, is not enjoyable at all. What's the culprit? Treasury bond interest rates increasing at the fastest pace in decades. Take a look at the change in Fed funds rate chart on how fast the Fed is raising rates for prior cycles. Over the last 40 years, only Greenspan in 1994 comes close. I'm Chris Parrish, Chief Investment Officer at Oak Harvest Financial Group, and this is our, our investment team's midweek release when we examine a news item, headline, or story making the rounds from publicly available sources. And we ask, Yay! is it news or is it noise for your money? This week, we discussed the Bank of England's emergency intervention into bond markets last week on September 28th. Last week, the Bank of England launched a historic intervention to stabilize the UK economy, announcing a two-week purchase program for bonds and delaying its planned currency sales until the end of October. The move came after a massive sell-off in their government bonds, which was crushing public pensioners' defined benefit retirement plans. In the UK, Defined benefit pension plans that provide a guaranteed annual income for life upon retirement based on a worker's final or average salary are still very common and popular. Most private U.S. companies have gotten rid of these over the last 40 years in favor of defined contribution plans like 401ks and IRAs. Most public school systems in the U.S. still have defined benefit plans, but ERISA rules don't allow them to take on leverage and to margin them up for investing. Some of the bonds held by these pension funds over in Europe had lost almost half their value in a matter of days with a rapid rise in interest rates and a decline in their currency, the pound. The plunge was so fast and sharp that many UK pension funds had been receiving margin calls. Margin calls? Pension funds getting margin calls? Remember, a margin call is when your broker calls you up and demands you increase equity in your account that's fallen below the broker's required amount. So I ask it again, pension funds getting margin calls? Yes, you heard that right. Apparently, many pension funds in the UK own something called a LDI. This is short for Liability Driven Investment Fund. These LDIs are owned by defined benefit pension plans, which risked falling into insolvency as the LDIs were leveraged investments. They were being forced to sell bonds and drive down prices sending the value of their assets below their liabilities. In its emergency purchase of bonds, the Bank of England is setting out to support prices. Think of our Federal Reserve restarting QE or quantitative easing here in the States. The UK Central Bank did this to allow funds times to manage the sale of their assets. What does this mean to investors in the US stocks and bond markets? It means the Federal Reserve interest rate increase path has been so fast that it's stressing and breaking esoteric parts of the financial markets. This is much the same way as Alan Greenspan's doubling of interest rates caused the Mexican currency crisis in late 1994. Chairman Powell's race higher is causing stress in other countries and other assets beyond our shores. It means that it's likely a lot of short-term volatility and selling at the end of last week in our stock markets was coming from overseas and being done in a forced manner. This is news for your investments short term. The bad news about this story is other investors' margin selling can create even more short-term volatility. The slightly good news, and I do mean slight, well, no one gets a margin call at or near the top in markets. The Mexico peso currency crisis in 1994, which is also known as the tequila crisis, was within weeks of the peak in Federal Reserve hawkish rhetoric in 1994 and the stock market's bottom over the next 18 months. Viewers, there are no guarantees that this is the case again now, but history does have a tendency to rhyme a lot. Are you trying to meet your needs or your greeds in retirement? Give us a call and schedule an initial consultation with an Oak Harvest advisor. We will sit down with you and help you and your family do the math to determine if you can meet your retirement goals and needs. At Oak Harvest, we think our clients are best served by us helping them plan for their future needs instead of focusing on the past. The future and the stock markets are always uncertain. That's why our advisors and retirement planning teams plan for retirement needs first and your greed second. Give us a call here to speak to an advisor and let us help you craft a financial plan that helps you meet your retirement goals. Call us here in Houston at 877-896-0040 and schedule an advisor consultation. We're here to help you on your financial journey into and through your retirement years. I'm Chris Paris, and from everyone here at Oak Harvest, have a blessed week.